Okay, guys. I'm finally back with this uh, hexacopter. I mean, I got kind of like sidetracked big time. Plus, um, like I said on another video, um, I had surgery about a month and a half. Uh, it was major surgery, so I finally got on my feet about a week ago. Uh, but anyway, going back to this thing, I think I'm going to be able to shoot more video and get this thing finished once and for all. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys um, what I had finished the hexacopter with, um, which was these, uh, these motors, they were tiny. And um, after a little bit of more research I did and uh, evaluation and uh, testing, um, I found out that these motors were too small. Uh, and I was going to need quite a bit of power and they were going to just fail eventually because I was going to be pushing them too hard. Plus these props, they're a plastic and I learned also that they tend to flex and that makes the hexacopter especially something kind of heavy. Right now I was going to make it quite, un quite unstable and that's the last thing I want on something so heavy flying up above my head. So anyway, I actually did the computation. I used an online calculator, which I have in one of my videos, and I probably posted on this video. But anyways, I went out and I bought this monster um, motors. And as you can see, put it next to this one. This is like like a monster motor compared to that little tiny bitty thing that's installed. This thing is huge. And I can tell the weight. It is just unreal. Uh, they're made by EMP. They're the um, 5065 400s Outrunner brushless motor. Here, let me just walk outside. That way you guys, let me see if I can get the description there. Anyway, they're the C5065-400. I actually uh, put, it, put everything on the calculator. Uh, that I have online and um, and I put the props which are also pretty big compared to uh, to the tiny ones that are installed I'm actually here let me just put it on top like this maybe you guys can see it better I mean as you can see these are 18 inch props and they're wood they will not flex and they can actually hurt you if they were to come in contact with your skin. So whenever you're testing this thing, you better be sure that you don't get on the way of these props. I mean, you could tell, I mean, they're huge. I mean, and I'm actually gonna show you a motor um, with one of them installed. I mean, I got, this thing was, uh, cost me a pretty penny compared to these $10 motors and the props were like three bucks. So three times six, you got 18, and then you got 10 times six is 60 bucks. So 78 dollars compared to about 350 bucks that I spent on these monstrosities. I mean, as you can see, here. Let me just uh, try to put this thing there like that. I mean, you could tell the the difference is pretty pretty big. I mean, I had to come up with my own. Um, with my own uh, standoffs and support system because these motors they're really meant for planes um, and this one it's got a shaft you could tell it's like right there and I don't want that to be on the way of anything so when you actually install it let me just uh, put it here I don't want it to fall Well, there you go. I mean, this thing is humongous. Um, right now, the way this thing is going to play out, and I actually measured everything um, before I bought it. I mean, you could tell that thing is pretty big. They're, I mean, like I said, 18-inch props. They're made by um, Jay-Z, or the Zingers. And the, the pitch on them is 6. Uh, why 6? Because I wanted this thing to be smooth and I don't want it to be flopping around or being unstable. But anyway, I still need to take this motor out 
the six of them. I actually uh, just put um, a little bit of a shrinking tube in there. So I just need to remove the shrink tube and unplug it and then remove these ESCs. Um, they're actually 30 amps. I actually bought, well, you know what, I said 350, it was actually more. It's 450 because I actually bought 80 amp mystery um, cloud 80 amp uh, ESCs. Um, all this stuff made in China, but anyway, I think it's pretty dependable. Um, and um, I mean, RCs over there, you know, I see them fly on videos. So they most likely going to fly over here too. Anyways, I got six of everything. And like I said, you know, the ESCs were 100 bucks. The six props cost me 136 bucks. And then each motor was about forty dollars so um you know you got the you got between you got the 40 for the motor i bought these standoffs and you know the stuff to put it together down here was maybe about five bucks so that's uh 45 and then you got the 136 that's 175 for the motor and the props uh i mean for the one prop and then i bought the uh the spinners um, which are just like aluminum that was another 15 bucks or so um, so that's a hundred and hundred and eighty a hundred ninety dollars for the setup and then um, each one of the ESC's um, was um, well you know what let me recalculate of the 40 it was 136 for all the props so I think there were um, there were um, what like 20 something dollars 30 bucks so um, so you know it was you'll be able to calculate 136 for six props 100 for the for the ESCs and uh, 40 times 6 uh, so you got 240 bucks in motors um, anyways you should be able to, to, to add that up 240 plus 100 plus 136 I mean that's uh, already pretty close to 500 bucks so um, I mean, uh, before taking the Endeavor, not that the old setup wouldn't work, it will work, but you have to uh, keep in mind that the motors are too weak, so you may want to modify this, um, this uh, skeleton, maybe drill some holes or make it lighter somehow, because it's really going to stress out those motors and it's going to, you know, you're going to be replacing stuff right away. So anyways, I'm actually going to put these on eBay when I remove them they were used for testing they were not really stressed out by any means so you know I probably give someone a good deal and sell them the motors were like 10 bucks or 60 and uh, the props I think they, they, they were like five bucks each so you got 30 bucks you got 90 bucks and then the spinners I think they were like 10 bucks so that's a hundred bucks for the whole thing I probably won like 75 bucks free shipping or you know 60 bucks and free shipping that actually probably makes someone really happy and uh, They'll have the whole setup already there. So um, Anyways, I'm actually gonna sell the uh, the 30 amp ESC also so I probably make a package make the whole thing probably uh, about 80 or 90 bucks uh, With free shipping and that would be the whole thing. But anyway, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update um, tomorrow I won't be working on this. I'm going to be installing some uh, security equipment in my house uh, due to my break-in I had a couple months ago in my truck. Um, I'm going to be installing an alarm, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, um, eventually I'll get to the hexacopter. Um, I think it's going to be another week and a half or so before I get to it. But I promise you guys I'm going to get this thing finished and done. Um, so got the UPS truck here so I got more deliveries so anyways I talk to you guys soon and um, enjoy this video let me know if you have any questions just post it on uh, YouTube okay talk to you guys soon bye